Now, Dark Glass is pretty well known for making a killer distortion pedal that's just perfect when you're playing modern metal or, or heavy music in general. So today, we're gonna check out the Microtubes Infinity, and we're gonna see what it sounds like when you do more than just metal. Well, I mean, we're gonna play a little bit of metal. Okay, maybe more metal than I thought, but it does other things, I promise. You lie! You're a fucking liar! Shut up! Today's backline includes the Phil Jones bass double four, Townsend Labs sphere microphone, and a set of GHS bass boomers. Find links to videos that I did using all that gear just by checking out the description. But if you've seen any videos I've done before, you would know there's actually just one thing that I really care about, and that is... What? Well, what's it sound like? All right, so it's definitely got that classic dark glass sound. It's got the bite, the distortion, that face melting wall of brutality. <laughs> Personally, I liked the era channel or the, the one that was more to the right, but honestly, I don't play a lot of this kind of music and eh, it just seemed like it was doing the trick for me. So let's do this. I'll pull in the rest of the track, see what it sounds like. Now this bass already has a really cool vibe and tone on its own, but I wanted something that was maybe more reminiscent of say like a baritone guitar. <laughs> or like, like a Fender Bass 6. And I really liked playing around with the different cabinet emulations on the Infinity, and I think I found one that was still beefy and full enough, but plenty distorted. I don't know, tell me what you think in the comments. One, two, three, four. Rock and hit, rock 
Rock and hit. Rock and hit. Honestly, it still sounds pretty sick even without the cabinet emulations, but I'm still gonna mic one up just to compare. And I'm not gonna lie, the only reason that I'm using the Phil Jones Double Four is because I just wanna see how massive we can get this tiny little rig to sound just by putting some dark glass in front of it. That's what the Dart Glass Microtubes Infinity sounds like. And if you want to get one for yourself, please just click on any of those links in the description. And if you want to check out the complete performances for every song you heard today with isolated dry and wet bass signal, then please come and join the Skeleton Crew here at the Deadbeat YouTube channel. There's tons of awesome perks. Speaking of which, thank you to these wonderful names right over here. Y'all are the best. Make sure you like and subscribe, turn on those notifications, and stay well. See you next time.